make sure that I'm getting audio. Alright. Hi everybody, welcome to a new game called Doki Doki Village Club. Now I know what it looks like. But apparently this game gets real violent. And it gets real dark and stuff. Now, I will not be doing voices for the characters because, as you can all see, they're obviously girls, and I'm a guy. And I don't know if I'm putting this. I don't know if I'm gonna do it before or after, but I'm currently recording a game, Death Mark. I don't know if I've uploaded it yet. And I've, uh, I'm doing voices. I'm voicing the characters and you know I lives and <laughs> shit like that and one of the characters voices has been killing my throat pause and so it just hurts the top so we're just gonna go ahead and uh human and show please enter my name I'm assuming you really want a first name so we're gonna go with the usual martini Hey! That's a good right couple of I see an. <laughs> Damn, I'm already out for some people. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Well, that girl is. So and I also, if you hear mouse clicking, it's because I'm currently recording on my computer. Uh, so if you hear clicking or if I sound a diff bit different. Uh, that's the reason why. Uh, that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori to catch up to me. I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for your dumbass. Uh, you say like that, you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Martini. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're like a couple or something, bro. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Why am I playing this right now? Fuck it. As we draw near, the streets become more increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Martini, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either, to be fair. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of the many conversations where I dismissively go along whatever, or whatever she's rambling on about. Sorry I likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills about college. <laughs> Damn! Somehow you really feel sorry. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now. But I died at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years. What the f after you got used to the real world? Because you're not used to the real world, excuse me. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. 
I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at, a, at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come in the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of class, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to weigh up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club, bro. Well, I thought you were going to need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no fucking way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Meanie. Sayori is Vice President of the Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm only 99% sure that she did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Bruh! That's a big bruh. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if so is really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as I've planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Oh boy, I'm, I'm so excited. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori. Across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings the classroom door open. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. I don't want. Hey, how you, how you doing? Hey. Damn. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought she looks. Seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah! Martini! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! All words escape me in this situation. This club. Is full of incredibly hot women. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Damn, you're kind of a bitch. Just, sorry. Natsuki? Huh. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Terry says that quiet. Oh, says that quietly into my ear, and it turns back around to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D -d Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. More mature and timid, huh? Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again. Why does she look like a lizard? Like, if you took her eyes out and put them on a lizard, they'd fit perfectly. Anyway, that's a weird statement, but... It's great to see you, Martini. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. 
Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, come violently out of my lane. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You know, boy, I mean, what? Who said that? You too, Monica. Come sit down, Martini. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I saw you mentioned it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a rack tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts foil off the tray to relay dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated look like little cats. Whiskers are drawn with icing and icing. What the fuck? Where did I get a list? The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate. It's because I tried to say chocolate and icing at the same time and for some reason it added a list. Like that! What the hell? Stop doing that. Used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh <laughs> heh well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry you grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sorry we talks with a mouthful and on how he managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor, delicious. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't heard this somewhere before. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. But not for... You, you, you know... You! Dummy! All right, all right, Jesus. I give up on Asuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the cable, carrying a tea set. <laughs> she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down that teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. That's not really why I was asking. I was asking because it's a very odd thing to keep a whole fucking tea set in a classroom. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I uh, guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're always just trying to impress you. Eh? Th that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy some good tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet. Any club yet. And... God, I can't read today. And Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home. Let me see. No, I didn't. Okay. As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs, to be honest. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year, matter of fact? Haha, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing about arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. 
I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. That makes sense. Anyone who encourages others to get in the literature and are fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. What about Natsu? She doesn't think so. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. I'm gonna make school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't know if I really can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Aw oh, shit, you caught me in my pants now. So Martini, what kind of things do you like to read? Well... Uh... I've been telling I've read these past few years. I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly peaked, perks up. It looks like she white wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. But not that much of a reader, I guess. Oh, that can change! What the fuck am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Uh oh. I'm becoming a simp. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. So, like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books and not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Hey, I know. Ah, oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately try to... I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a brick wall. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me into another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over at me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> oh, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Eh, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just cute as you are. I can, uh, if I left click or right click, I can see the whole scene. Sayuri so saddles up by Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you wrote your own poems. Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Not to give her your eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Jesus, Yuri. 
you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can send an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri, huh? Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Monica is a good leader. Isn't that right, Martini? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sorry we have convinced, may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I thought, huh, Martini, y you all. Ah, I'm defenseless. I'm a major simp. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these gorgeous girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy. Sorry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Bad on my screen when I said super pissed. And then it makes then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment? Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Martini, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hey <laughs> Class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Martini, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Siori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders. Okay, so I have to keep it. Okay, there you go. If my if, uh, my mouse cursor being on the screen bother you, I'm sorry. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to the one of the girls. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Well, this is where I'm gonna end today's recording. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end today's episode here. Next episode, we will be writing a poem. I'm th I'm feeling Yuri. I really am, because... I don't know, Timmy Girls. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm, I will, uh... End, I will make a poem next episode. I'll see you guys.